Hey everybody, welcome to another GG Wow video. I'm Dratnos, joined by the illustrious crew, Azuna, Dorky, and Nerf, aka Nerf Tank TV, one of the greatest tanks around. And we are going to talk about, actually we got two of the greatest tanks around in this group. We're going to talk about uh, the Season 4 thing and the Warlords of Draenor dungeon choice that came along with it. So for those who've been living under a rock, next season, still going to be Shadowlands, but we're going to do this weird thing where we've got dungeons from the last four expansions in the M plus pool instead of just the Shadowlands ones. And two of those are WAD dungeons, which it looks like the voting has selected Iron Docks and Grimrail Depot. There was a vote uh, for these, a public vote. And Grimrail Depot in particular has been a little bit of a interesting one because it's one that won the vote, I think. It had the most votes of anybody, but it also has some weird quirks about it and uh, it was one of the most different challenge mode dungeons from all the other ones. So uh, I guess just to set the scene a little bit, what exactly is Grimrail Depot as a dungeon that makes it so different from the other ones? It's uh, on a train. It is, it is on a train, correct. That makes the obvious on rails joke, but this is a dungeon where you're just, you're literally running in a straight line through the whole place, right, uh, Azuna? Yeah, you pretty much, there's like no real deviation from pulling different trash, going left or right, you kind of just go straight line. Um, like, I'll kind of curious to how they're going to do the trash count in this dungeon, because, you know, some packs like should be skippable. It's so like maybe a straddle boost, but like if you need all the trash for 100% count, like, got to see how that will play out. Yeah, it's like yeah, well, if if they make it less than 100% count, then you kind of get owned if you don't skip, right? Yeah. There's just yeah. no way to avoid those packs. Like having to pull every trash might, I think, would not be that cool for me. If you could, like, skip one or two packs, it'd be like, you know, then you can have some, like, some, de some optimization, like, different routes and stuff. There is basically zero actual variation between dungeon runs. Well, that I can see in this dungeon specifically. Right, so, like, when we think about... I don't know, we often have these talks about, like, what we like in dungeons. And for me, it's like, I like nice wide-open dungeons where I can pick what I'm <laughs> going to pull, you know, do do two runs differently from each other. And yet this dungeon is basically the exact opposite of all of those things. And yet it was the overwhelming winner of the vote, which uh, maybe it just means that the, the, you know, the majority of the player base is voting for different reasons than that. Maybe they just thought it, think it's, like, a cool aesthetic dungeon which i i kind of agree with that it is pretty cool to be like on a train hurtling exactly, yeah. hurtling through gorgrond but yeah from an m plus perspective uh, i don't know another thing to think about is we're, we're in these narrow train cars right a lot of affixes feel particularly difficult in those sorts of confines right imagine stuff like spiteful spawning like storming like quaking like sanguine right these are affixes where narrow confines like in sanguine depths for instance you get much more difficulty than in wide open dungeons is this dungeon going to be particularly rough on that front as well do you guys think i think after yeah after the first boss i think it's going to be terrible like everywhere else it's like kind of okay but like after the first boss like i think you'll see what i mean it's like i went there last night just to like look at it it's pretty bad like not only is it narrow there's like it's like boxes and crates in the hallway, so it's like you don't have the full hallway and stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's that is bizarre. Nerf, how about you? What do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's gonna be terrible. Okay, it, you don't you don't get a lot of room to start with when once you're on the train, and then and yeah, then the there's train... like the, the train doors close. You have to like click them to go back out and to, back to the previous train. I do think one thing about it, it does a little bit better than some of the tight corridor dungeons like Toldagore and Sanguine Devs is the camera angle wasn't exactly awful like normally when you're in those tight corridor spots the camera angle is like one of the worst things that's fair it's like a long hallway so you can just hold your camera straight back and be fine yeah and you can like look outwards or something like that also one of the mobs in there drops this like flame circle on top of that so it's like a flame caster mob that drops like a circle i forgot what it does but like it just adds more to the area denial i guess right yeah now, one thing that's also true about Grimrail Depot is I, I don't remember exactly what the challenge mode timer was in here, but I think this was a shorter dungeon than Maw of Souls, which was our previous, like, shortest M-plus dungeon, right? 
I don't know what you guys think about Mob Souls. I, I know a lot of people kind of remember it pretty fondly, especially because like it was like you, you'd get that key and you could be like, oh, I can do that key real quick this week, right? Like this is the yes. the lowest time commitment key in any of our bags, but I don't know. I actually talked about this with my stream ones, and I do feel like it being a short dungeon is definitely one of the favorable parts about it being an M-plus dungeon. Because if you think about it, most of the dungeons that we've liked in the past... Like Ataldazar, Freehold, uh, Mist, Halls. These are all generally pretty short dungeons. People don't really have the attention span to be doing 40 minute dungeons like King's Rest or the other side. Lower so Karazhan, like, even, which is going to be yeah, in this like season. I, I do feel like it would be really cool if we had more of these short dungeons. That way, people can just sort of just go in and focus for like 20 or 30 minutes, blast it out real quick. And it'd probably be more fun that way. Yeah, I wonder what timer they'll even set on this. So the ones you cited there, those are all like 30 to 36 minute dungeons. Mob Souls was 24, right? And uh, yeah, I think so. Grimrail Depot, I don't know what the challenge mode timer was on it, but I it wasn't it like 20 over minutes? Here. Well, no, it says 1430. 1430, but, I mean, but that was challenge mode. Challenge mode were different, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that, was that yeah. just for gold the entire timer? I, I have no idea. I'm just looking at this bot over here, and Actually, that's what I see. Yeah, that's the gold timer. Okay, yeah, so it was a little different back then, but what was the the gold timer? Was that 60% of the timer, or...? I don't remember, because I'm looking at Grimmail, and gold was 14 minutes, silver is 25 minutes, and bronze oh. was 50 minutes. <laughs> 50 minutes? Yeah, bronze was 50 minutes, so... Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, so definitely just, like, a very different timing convention back then. Another interesting thing about this dungeon is the, uh, the cannon... I don't know. You hear you hear RP cannons, and you, you those of us that played in BFA get the kind of flashback look in our eyes to Told the Gore. How similar slash different are the RP cannons in this dungeon from that dungeon? Well, this dungeon you have to loot the like bombs that drop off the ads and the boss, and then you go in the cannon. I forget exactly how like the bomb picking up works. They have to pick up like two bombs, and then you can use the cannon, but. I feel like that fight is going to be very, very long. I could be crazy, though. This is the second boss where it's, like, on yeah. the, the train cart that, like, opens up and you've got yeah, the winds like, blowing down the sides. Yeah. You walk up to him and it's, like, a normal boss fight, first off. And then, like, you get him, like, 60%, I think, and then he phases to, like, go around the back, get him the cannon. And then you got to kill a cannon and then kill him. It, it, it's I feel like it's going to be a long fight because the cannon that you shoot, I don't think it's going to, like, it's going to be the same no matter what key level. And it seemed pretty long to me. Unless you have multiple people doing it. I, I never tried it that well. So we'll have to see how that plays out, I guess. Because it's a, uh, you know, it's the it's, it's like a lot of years later, people are going to, I think, develop a lot more strats for getting the boss done super fast. Okay, so before we finish talking about Grimrail Depot, I do want to ask everybody, if you what, what were your votes for the WAD dungeons and... Uh... You know, how how strongly do you feel about the Grimrail Depot? Because I'll be honest, I did vote for Grimrail Depot because I thought it was a cool dungeon, but now I feel bad because everybody's like, oh, this is going to be such a bad M-plus dungeon, and, like, looking at these characteristics, I'm like, okay, I can I can see the concern, but also, like, trains are cool. Uh, Nerf, what, 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 what would your favorite WAD dungeons have been? Skyreach and Upper Blackrock. Sky... Upper Blackrock Spire? Yeah. Uh I picked Upper Blackrock Spires and Iron Docks. I only oh, I picked, picked Iron Docks as well. because, like, the first pull in that dungeon that you used to do in challenge modes was really fun uh, to me. I, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Iron Docks in the Mythic Plus setting because it's, it's, it's literally the same thing as like Plague Borers, right? Just yeah, use yeah, the, yeah. The, the environment. There's, there's a bit of cheese there. Yeah. Yeah. But so, uh, like, I, I just remember having fun back how then. they will do what they will do with that, you know? Because like they, they ended up nerfing Toldegore cannons too. So, yeah, especially because yeah. we only have one season of these dungeons, right? Like Toldegore, yeah. the, there are a lot of these dungeons that are kind of works in progress over the whole expansion, but obviously this time it's like we're only going to have one season with it. Also, we're, we're going to have one season where we're like Omega geared, right? Like we're we're going to be scaled out of control by season four time, especially if they give us any more power. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Is, are we going to see pulls as degenerate, as, as massive as these challenge mode pulls? Like, are we going to see... Is Grimrail Depot going to be sub three minutes? Is that possible? Like, what's going to happen I there? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think so, right? Because Mythic Plus is infinitely scaling. Yeah. Infinitely, so, like, the higher you go, obviously, it's 
I guess they're gonna like. Oh. Are they gonna do MDI with these dungeons? Probably. Like I, I, I yeah, I, don't know. I would I would imagine so. In a season like this, four. this is gonna be a crazy fast dungeon. I think. Well, one thing I thought was really cool about Grimrail is like, if the fixes aren't bad, like the ones that deny area, like Sangwin and Quaking, or it's just Sangwin, I guess. You can pull really big, and there's a lot of LOS spots here. There's a lot of LOS you can do and pull really big. That's exciting. Yeah, I, I do. I do enjoy getting to do big pulls. The wad mobs. How were they in terms of like? I don't know. When you think about Shadowlands mobs, it's like every mob has one or two important abilities that will kill somebody or like wipe you if you don't do them correctly, right? Were how are the wad mobs? Were most of them just like auto attacking you? Or did they have important things? Any of the anybody remember any Grimrail Depot trash mechanics? Uh, there's on, a on the frontal. Train, yeah, on the train there's a front kind of the point that from There's the like a the frontal train. that's targeted on someone and it, they cast it like every like four seconds or five seconds, I think. Whoa. But it's like it like targets you, casts it, and you can like sidestep it. I think there's some mobs in there that do literally nothing though. I think there's some like I think there's some no mechanic mobs in Grimrail in the train. I love I love I no think mechanic one, mobs. I a lot of those. Yeah. It's like that one Yo. mob in Sanguin Depths. I forgot what it's called. The the one that they removed the, the, the mechanic. Doubt. The doubt. Yeah, they removed yeah. the mechanic and it's just nothing now. There, there's a couple of those in Grimmel. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like dungeons are really... Like, obviously there should be mobs that do stuff, but I like it when there's some mobs that are just, like, filler. Yeah, it just adds to the nameplate. I like it. Yeah, I think just, you know, the, there should be some some important mobs and some unimportant mobs rather than just all important mobs. Then it just kind of overwhelms you. Uh, okay, one other weird thing about this dungeon that I want to... I mean, what, what, we don't know how loot's going to work next season. We have no idea. We have no idea if it's going to even be the same items that it was back in WAD. But back in WAD, loot from dungeons was pretty different than it is today. There weren't these, like, trinkets that did stuff. All the dungeon trinkets from Grimrail Depot, at least, are, are stat sticks. It's like primary stat, secondary stat. And uh, there's not these trinkets with effects. I wonder what they're going to do with these. And I, I mean, I, I know that some people like stat sticks. It's, you, we see people using Elegy and Celia's. If these are well budgeted, maybe you'd use these in addition or instead of either of those. But also, like, I don't know, is this is this going to be our great our great vaults going to have like random items from either the Wad dungeons, the Legion dungeons, the BFA dungeons, or the Shadowlands dungeons? Like, is that isn't that going to be super weird? All the different loot design philosophies they've had over the years, all in the same season. Well, like when you look at the loot, like if you go to the dungeon journal in game. And you look at Grimmel and you look at Iron Dogs, like, there's, like, so many items. And I'm just thinking, like, all of these are going to be a chance in my Great Vault to, like... Yep. Because, like, you look at, like, the dungeons we have now, is like, what, like, three pieces per boss, I think, in Mythic Dungeons now? Something like that, right? And, like, now it's, like, there's, like, so many items on the screen. Like, what what are they... Like, what if that lowers your chances of getting, like, tier or something, right? Because there's, like, yeah, so many items in the pool. I don't think that's how it works. Also, by the time Season 4 comes out... Tier's not going to be like a... I guess it's going to be vendors, apparently. We'll see how those vendors work, right? Maybe, yeah. I mean, the Catalyst comes out. By the time yeah. by the time this video is out, the Catalyst is almost well, certainly I'm, out, yeah. I, well, I assume we're going to have to have, increase our eye level next season, right? I guess. Prob I mean, there's... Yeah, probably. Yeah, I would assume the item level will win next season. But yeah, and then you'll want tier again, right? Because, I mean, all the raids will come out or basically scaled up previous rate so you want like a tier and dom sockets no oh my god no 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 no, no. Don't no, no don't don't, don't put that on me that'd be sick i hope dom sockets don't work actually oh. maybe that maybe i hope they dude do could it. you imagine if the the shards come back and it's just like everybody who who deleted their shards coming into this season or whatever is is has to refarm them and refarm stygian embers they should they yeah. should morph the catalyst creation to like have an eight set so like you just yeah like five pieces of the eight set yeah. I mean, having it that bonus would be incredibly broken. I mean, I would like that, but that's too much, I think. But, like, if you could have, like, like then you could have, like, flexibility in gear, right? Yeah. You have, like, pick eight, like, like, like in Sunwell Temple, like, in Birdie Crusade or something, there's, like, eight pieces, so. I think that, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Bring our set bonuses up to eight piece. But, wow, then we would be super OP. That would be a bit OP. I'm, not, I'm down for it, but. Yeah, dude, we're, we're pretty far off topic now, but. Imagine how imagine how down bad we'd be then at the start of ten point oh losing our double Legos and our eight set. Oh we're just God. here like with two percent haste auto attacking. Uh, ten point oh is gonna give us crazy stuff from the beginning. Oh true, yeah, true. The lessons It'll have be been like learned. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I think we've gotten through all of our Grimrail Depot stuff that I have on the list. Did, did I miss anything? Anybody have any any further points about Grimrail Depot or Watt or anything before we uh, close this one out? I think Blizzard should reconsider. Like, just you know, override the vote? Yeah, yeah. Stop anytime the count? Do, like, anytime they do a, a community vote, we like we've seen in MDI, it's always they, the community always picks the worst one that they think the, the people will have the least fun in. They do do that for the MDI fixes or something on Twitter. Yeah, my bad. Well, also the WoW community is just really split in what they feel with many things. Yeah, I, again, I think it is just like, I don't know, people are, people are voting Grimrail Depot because they they like the dungeon, right? It's like, yeah, I, mean, I, just, I, I, guess, I just like it. I yeah. guess in, in a vacuum, Grimrail, outside of the Mythic Plus environment, is a good dungeon. It's, it's fun. But like in a, in like in if you put it inside like Mythic Plus, I, I don't think it'll be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, next time they should do, like, community vote and then a tormented hero vote. And, like, that's, you know, the, the one dungeon from the community, one one dungeon from the tormented heroes. Well, I wouldn't even say tormented hero. I think yeah, that would be no. a little bit too far. I, but, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think that, that just divides the community even more, which would True. be bad. But, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know I, the right way around it either. I think it, is, I think it is a good experiment, though. Like, it would probably give them an idea of what Mythic Plus would look like in previous yeah, okay. dungeons. I can't and wait for that. Yeah, but like it'll be it'll I think it'll be pretty really obvious that these dungeons were clearly not made with Mythic Plus in mind. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how the challenge mode dungeons fare in a Mythic Plus setting cuz I mean as we talked about like obviously it's the predecessor to Mythic Plus but a lot changed between Wad and Legion and a, a lot more has changed since Legion even in terms of like how M Plus works. So yeah, I mean, this season's going to be crazy. We're going to have all four of these expansions next to each other, and you're, you're going to be going from one to the other every time your key changes. I imagine there's going to be, like... I wonder if you're going to have to just do, like, mindset changes as you go from these different dungeons to each other and, like, just change how you're playing each dungeon as, as different, like, amounts of defense and offense become important. To be honest, though, after seeing Legion and the Great Push, I don't feel like it's too different, at least within Legion, BFA, and um, Shadowlands. Yeah, I mean, that was still Mythic Plus, though, right? But Wad yeah. is... I would have liked to see it, see it go the other way. Like, all go back to Challenge Mode style. You know, like, gear scales onto the... That cert, that uh, level is capped. And then, like, just go for speed instead of... This key level. They should have both, though. I, I don't know why they would just scrap Challenge Modes completely. Because I do feel like there are a large amount of people who do prefer that type of dungeon playstyle. Especially when, like, MDI is basically that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot of veteran players in the MDI who refuse to play live M+, but they'd be super down to play challenge modes. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of food for thought there. Let us know what you think in, in the in the comments and stuff. Let us know who you think is, is smart and dumb among us. And uh, we'll be back with another one soon. Later, everybody. Have you guys seen Ellesmere's competitive WoW post? Oh, yeah, that would have been a good one. Yeah, that would have been a good topic to talk he about. Him, Dude, we could have just uh, roasted him. It was too long. I did not read. That's <laughs> true.